I can't believe there's more to this game. I can't believe there's what more the to heck? this game. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> so what does it say? So what does it say? Do you the phone? Someone's gone missing. Hello there. You must be the investigators they hired, right? I'm assuming you know a little bit about the case? Nope. This historical center you're standing in front of was created by Dr. Bazooker, the man who's gone missing. He believed he's locked himself inside. The doctor was a bit of an eccentric, if you know what I mean. No. Some of his theories were a bit out there, garnered a lot of attention on conspiracy theory forums. Could be possible somebody took him hostage. We can't be sure. We need you to go inside and find out what happened to him. We're counting on you. Okay, we can cross now. He's just gonna drag me over here. <laughs> All right. What does it say? Call the, Call police. the police. Oh no! There's gonna be. We gotta look for numbers. Is it nine one one? Five zero seven. Five zero seven. Possibly. Where'd you get that? He said it. <laughs> uh. I didn't. It. It's nothing. It's not five zero seven. All right. All right. It's a no cap phone. The no cap phone. Okay, welcome to the Center for Historical Science. The founder of this institution, Dr. Besucher, has gone missing. This was his last known location. You've been called okay, in to investigate. Know. Pick up the phone once everyone has arrived. Pick up the phone once everyone has arrived. Five one ninety six. Five one eighty six. One ninety six. One ninety six. One nine six. One ninety six. Nothing. Call the police. Nine one one. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna say nine one one. Nine one one. Nothing. Oh wait, nine one one was oh, it? Oh, you're right. Well, guess what I got? Oh, I got the murder weapon. I got the murder weapon. Uh, uh, uh. No. For the door. Got that one. Got that one. Gonna get this one off. Like, oh yes, guys. Get this one off. Like, oh, Back yes, guys. Back off. Let me get this one off. Back off. Let me get this one off. Yep. Oh, I'm yep. alone. And last one. And so, look. Hard oh, Hard <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go, go in. in. Maybe. There we go. <sighs> Jeez, it's dark in here. Jeez, it's dark in here. Oh, cranky, mate. <sighs> I wish we had a flashlight. Oh wait, we got something here. Oh wait, we got something Power. here. Power. Day pass, fifteen dollars, no refunds, all sales final. Let's see we got a um in there. Oh a dollar. Oh a dollar. Well, we got five dollars so far. We have a stool. Just in case we might need to go into high places, you know? Anything up there? Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> Hope it looks cool. Hope it looks cool. Do you have to... Is this where the dollar goes? Is this where the dollar goes? Oh, another five dollars. Ah. Independent, COVID-19, fear of lockdown, extension grips, Legos, Ogin, FCC, Ogin, FCC. Alright, but I'm interested in this, five dollar button. Only. And then there has to be another five dollar somewhere. Um, hmm. What does this say? 
Life size pictures right before my eyes. Forgot the light forget the light bulb. Surely this was this is the greatest work. Well, we sh oh, what, was there a light bulb? Oh, what, was there a light oh bulb? by the way, there's a, um, oh, yeah, I see that. What does this say? Life-size pictures right before my eyes. Forget the light bulbs. Surely this was Edison's greatest work. Oh, I'm missing one more $5 bill. I'm missing one more $5 bill. Hey, I hope um, you lose there's money down there. Where? Here? There is. So, there has to be a fishing pole or some type of line in there, I'm guessing. No, the thing's missing a, a circle thing. Okay, then we're missing okay, multiple we're missing things still. Multiple things still. Is there a date on here? <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. Around the, the back side. I don't see anything. There's something up there. Up there. No, there's nothing up there. I looked. You can see it from up here. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's that's a glitch in the world. That's the outside world. Oh yeah, I see. We're supposed to throw on the water faucet, and then the. $5 yeah. bill will float up. I see. Be right back, guys. Have a good time. <laughs> Type in this. Look at it. Edison's greatest marble. Beta scope. Just put beta scope. Plug it up, plug it up like a toilet. <laughs> no? Now regarded as pseudoscience, frequency theory was studied extensively by many scientists and inventors of the past. They promoted several core principles, the first being that all matter in our universe vibrates at a specific frequency. They call this, the fundamental frequency of our universe.
like a radio, the cosmos exists through a spectrum of frequencies. Some are stable and support universes like our own, teeming with life. Others are unstable and hold nothing at all. Like a radio, the cosmos like a radio, the cosmos exists through a spectrum of frequencies. Some are stable and support universes like our own, teeming with life. Others are unstable and hold nothing at all. Frequency theorists believe that travel from one universe to another can be attained by changing the vibrational frequency of the body. This is done using a terminal, a device similar in appearance to an ordinary lamp. Believed to be created by extraterrestrial beings, the location of this hypothesized device is currently unknown. Oh, nice. Look at that. Finally, I don't have to actually do anything. Proud of you all for figuring that out. <sighs> so what was the, um, what was the, ta the typewriter answer? Uh, Vita Scope. It was on the billboard with a bunch of those card things. The... What scope? Oh. The scope. Or however you say it, the same. Oh, the Vita scope. Oh, the theater. Maybe. The Vita scope. Pictures on a wall. Mm hmm Yeah. Wow, did you see that? Pretty cool. And how did you guys flood? So, the Vitascope, which opened up a key or something to open up mm -hmm. that, which then gave you guys that, yeah. which then gave you guys the code for that. Uh, Frank figured out the code on his own. Oh, what was the code? Frank also figured out <laughs> the typewriter. I don't know. You have to ask him. Hmm. So basically, Frank did it. <laughs> I see. What does play mean? Play audio. Using modern science and archaeological evidence, it is believed that terminals operate using specialized bulbs. These bulbs maintain quantum entanglement with matter of different frequencies. The terminal measures these frequencies and safely transfers you to your desired universe. <laughs> Rocket, spinny thing. For custodians, please do not mix up the display items when cleaning. Many contemporary frequency theorists believe the terminal is our best chance at exploring the cosmos and advancing human civilization. Perhaps even answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? This is throwing out a wave, so I'm thinking... Like a radio, the cosmos exists through a spectrum of frequencies. Well, it says, Some are like a radio. and support the universes like our own, teeming with life. Others are unstable and hold nothing at all. Now regarded as pseudoscience, frequency theory was studied extensively by many scientists and inventors of the past. They promoted several core principles. The first being that all matter in our universe vibrates at a specific frequency. They call this, the fundamental frequency of our universe. So... Yep, that was it. Yep, this thing opened up. Atomic and nuclear physics. Extraterrestrial life and anthology and biology. Ew, who wants to stick their hand in a puddle? 
<laughs> Callisto, you're the shortest one. Oh, you should Okay. Hold on. Okay. Hmm. Nothing in there? Where's that light bulb? There's nothing. <laughs> cool. Light bulb's right there. <laughs> this only makes sense, right? It does. Almost oh, yeah. only makes sense. <laughs> oh, expect to see hidden messages. Thief, liar, <laughs> aliens live among us. Blood splatters everywhere. Oh no, it escaped into the door. Okay, X marks, a, a, X marks a spot, so they say solving the mysteries of the desert would not be so easy. Okay, so. Okay, so. Oh, there's uh. aliens. There's an alien. Look, an alien mm -hmm. behind ya, Callista. An alien. Oh. All right, so spin. Okay, so uh, what is that? Mysteries in uh, and mysteries in Extraterrestrial life. Aliens live among us. Aliens live among us. Um, Atomic and nuclear physics is electric. I did something, I did something. Mm -hmm. Oh, keys. All the keys. Which, they have different uh, symbols on them. They have different symbols on them. This one has yeah. the floor de lis on it. Well, that one also has the floor de lis. Okay. Great. So this one also carries a floor de lis. Look, it says thief on there. Who's a thief? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got three keys anyway. Oh, well, we got three keys. Authorized personnel only. Uh, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. All right. Um, try using one of those keys on the chain. Somebody. <sighs> okay. Uh, these keys are way too big, it looks like. And none of these keys are working, so there's... Keys... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you jump back. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> 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 